Yes, Big Wednesday is back and I'm so glad that you guys are here with me. Good to see ya. So today's video is all about this fire hair right here. It's fire. Everything about it, the quality, the curls, everything about it is just great quality and it's from one of my favorite hair companies. And her hair company, I don't care what nobody say, her hair company is killing the bundle game. Their hair is always great quality. So if you guys are interested and you want to see how I got this look, girl, keep on watching. All right, you guys, so this is the box that the hair came in, and they sent me over a frontal for this um, unit that I am making, and this is the frontal here, pretty decent. Um, the knots are not bleached. This is Brazilian Kinky Curly Hair, and I believe this frontal is in a 12 inch. They also sent me three bundles, and they are three bundles of the Brazilian Kinky Curly, and they are also 12 inches long. So I didn't want anything too long because I knew I was going to be cutting this hair, but take a look at them bundles, girl. Look at them tracks, honey. Quality, I'm telling you, quality. So this is what the hair looks like unraveled. And I wanna show you guys really quick the wig cap that I use. So this is um, a standard wig cap, but I like it because it does have adjustable straps in the back. That way I don't need to, you know, sew on an elastic band for this unit. So I went ahead and made the unit. I will post uh, down in the description box a video linked to how I make my wigs. So I did make the wig and this is what it looks like when I was completely done making the wig and I absolutely love this hair at this point I had not washed the hair so this is what the hair looks like fresh out the box once you um, make the wig so I'm gonna go ahead and wet this hair down because I want to show you guys what the hair looks like when it's wet down or when it's washed and I'm gonna go ahead and also brush through the hair and um, show you guys what the curl pattern looks like I absolutely love it it's super pretty gorgeous so I'm also going to detangle this hair with my Denman brush and look at those curls you guys like I love those curls. So after I co-washed the hair once it dried this is what it looked like and I did add foundation on the frontal just so that it would blend in nicely with my scalp and it kind of changed the color of the knots a little bit because they're not bleached and this is what the parting looks like so i'm gonna go ahead and slide that on my hair just to see how well it fits and i haven't even cut the lace off at this point and as you can see i love the curl pattern of the hair and this is when it's completely dry but i love the way it looks i love how it shrunk up and i love the curls and the kinks that it gives All right, so once I cut off the lace, I'm gonna go ahead and put the unit back on. And of course, I'm gonna be using my Gats to Be. I'm gonna be putting both the free spray and the gel onto my hair, on my hairline rather. And I'm going to be um, letting those dry. I'm gonna first apply the gel um, all around my hairline. And then I'm going to let that dry. And then I'm gonna add the free spray. And then I'm gonna let that dry and get tacky. And then I'm gonna put the unit on. So just watch and see how I do this, guys. So what I'm doing here is I'm just holding the hair down until the, um, the free spray in the gel dries down so that the unit will stick and stay secure on my head. So instead of using my fingers because the, my fingers cause flakes and I don't want to do that, I just took one of my makeup brushes and just, you know, kind of rubbed it along that hairline just to keep the hair nice and flat against my head rather. And so, yeah, I'm just doing this all the way around my hairline until I feel like it's secure. So now I'm going to re-wet the hair down um, because I'm going to be finger coiling this hair. Um, I'm going to finger coil it and style it. So here I am just um, re-wetting it and then I'm going to detangle and then we're going to style it. And I'm going to be adding some of my foundation to the party just to make it look a little bit more natural. Um, basically hiding those black knots. Um, so now we're going to cut. And y'all know how I just be chopping up wigs, girl. I just be chopping them up. So I'm going for um, the heart-shaped cut. 
So I'm just gonna cut this up until I get the desired length. I love short hair and I don't even know, when I get a wig, I just wanna cut it up. <laughs> So I'm gonna cut it here to the shape that I want and I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So I'm just styling my edges here to make it, you know, just a cute little style on one side. So I kind of tucked it behind my ear and then put like a little twist um, in there as well. And so now I'm just showing you guys, I'm gonna be using some mousse and then I'm gonna be using some Eco Styler Gel to put these finger coils in, in this hair. So I'm first gonna wet the hair, then I'm gonna add the mousse, then I'm going to add the gel and then I'm just going to simply twirl it around my finger to create a finger coil. And I'm going to do that all over this hair. One thing I did notice um, when I was finger coiling is that the frontal is a lot more curlier and kinkier than the bundle. So as you can see, the bundles have more of a wave. I mean, they do curl up, but when I was finger coiling them, they weren't giving me the same curl as the frontal did, which is why I kind of just raked the product through in the back, um, like you see me doing here. I just kind of raked it through. You see here, I still love the curl pattern, but it's just not as tight as the frontal is. I love the curl pattern of the front. So you see those finger coils up there, girl? Simply beautiful. So I'm just gonna let this hair dry. And once it's dry, I'm just simply gonna unravel the finger coils to give myself a little bit more height and volume. And I love the way that this turned out once the hair was unraveled. It gave me a little bit of kink. It gave me a lot of curls. It just looks really pretty. So just watch and see how I am separating these curls. So this is my final look. I am in love with these curls. So again, this is Brazilian Kiki Curly Hair from Her Hair Company. They sent over three 12 inch bundles and a frontal, but I only use one full bundle and most of a second bundle plus the frontal. So I have like a full bundle left over that I didn't even touch. The bundles do start at $50 and that is depending on the length that you choose. And the frontal starts at $115, depending on the length that you choose as well. So the hair is really soft, um, but it did shed a little bit when I was detangling it. But, you know, that's to be expected with curly hair. Um, it didn't have that weave smell, thank goodness. You know, that corn chip smell. It didn't have that. Um, my only con with this hair is that the frontal and the bundles weren't exactly the same texture. The frontal was much more coolier than the bundles, but it did blend well. I really like this unit that I made. Like, I really like it. Um, let me know what you guys think about it. Um, post your comments down below. Check the description box below for links to her hair company's website. And as always, I'll talk to you guys on my next wig Wednesday. Bye, guys.